some uh, mustard greens. Not collard greens, but mustard greens. Collard greens is all bad for you. They, they are hard to digest. Uh, mustard greens that are, are real good for you. And I'm, we're gonna hook them up and cook them, wash them off, and gonna have a good time eating them. Now I'm through separating the stems from the mustard greens. Now I wanna show y'all how it looks. I went outside and washed it off with a hose. Instead of washing it off in the sink. See how green and fresh that looks? So I'm gonna cook these. with other vegetables and I'll show you the plate when I get finished. Okay, I'm back from cooking mustard greens. They came straight from the garden to the kitchen. They didn't go to, through no processing. I didn't get them from no store. And you must always remember the green of the leaf, the more nutrients it holds. Mustard greens carry a powerful antioxidants, which, would, uh, which fights off infection and diseases. And mustard greens help prevent heart disease. And it has a lot of minerals and vitamins, such as protein, calcium, calcium vitamin A, vitamin B, C, K, iron, and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps provide oxygen and it will give the muscle green its green color. And it also is a fiber. Let me zoom in. Okay. Those are the mustard greens. Okay, I'm going to talk about broccoli. The broccoli helps to regulate blood pressure. And it helps out the nervous system and also carries antioxidants. It also helps prevent age-related cataracts. And it slows down the thickening of the arteries. So that's healthy for you. And corn, it carries a lot of minerals and vitamins. It's really... Uh, carries several vitamins and also uh, the turkey as a, as a matter of fact according to uh, Genesis chapter 1 and 30 herd was meat we didn't eat meat this was uh, during the creation of man we, we ate herds as a matter of fact I'm going to read that for you Is Genesis chapter 1 verse 30 and to every beast of earth of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life I have given every green herb for me and it was so So I'm going to jump on down and I'm going to show you where we started eating meat. This was after the flood. Chapter 9. Verse 3. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herd have I given you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. So this turkey is a clean animal, and you, you, you shouldn't eat uh, meat with blood in it. I mean, that's retarded to do it anyway. Only eating mice do that, you know. 
They they crave for stuff like that. We don't. It's not even in us to eat. Sit at the table eating meat with blood in it. So uh, that turkey, that's a smoked turkey. That's a smoked turkey. I cook, and it has uh, it's 152 grams of lean protein, which I'm not gonna eat the whole turkey leg. It's too big anyway. I'm, I'm gonna probably eat half and eat half tomorrow. And it has zero carbs and 54 grams of fat. And it has over 1,000 calories. So, you know, I, I eat one of these. I mean, I eat this, uh, like a, a turkey leg, uh, twice a month, you know. I eat it twice a month. So this is a healthy, good uh, plate here. Let me go to your, uh, to my fruit, which uh, I use to satisfy my sugar craving. Cause I, I don't eat that pure sugar mess, you know, like donuts and stuff like that, you know. You got your grapes. Which grapes back in the Old Testament, they used to be big. I mean, these grapes are like marbles right now. It took two men to carry a bushel of grapes, you know? So they, they, you know, they was fit from eating the grapes. The grapes provided nutrients. And it's three different types of grapes. You got your raisin grapes, your wine grapes, and your table grapes. Okay, we're gonna move it to the apple. Apple is uh, it helps for your bones, preventing asthma, Alzheimer's. Also reduces cholesterol and helps your kidneys out. And your orange is your, 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 the most citrus of fruit. I think everybody that ate it has many minerals and vitamins. You have your pear. You know, uh, uh, I've heard that if you have a, some pear juice and drink it, it'll prevent you from having a sore throat. I don't know if that's true or not, so, but it, it, uh, your pear helps out, it, it, it helps a lot, and it has a lot of vitamins in it too. Then you have your pineapple. And pineapple have to help protect against cancer in your blood circulation, your bones and teeth. And uh, also I have some water, which is the main thing you should drink. Everyday water. Forget sodas, Kool-Aid. You go get a pack of Kool-Aid and spill it on the floor, it stains, it stays there on the floor. You can't, you can scrub all you want to. It'll come up eventually, but it takes a lot of scrub. So just imagine what that's doing to the inside of you. So drink plenty of water. So this is my meal that I'm gonna eat probably the next couple of days. And I just decided to make this video for you real quick. Remember, don't don't mess with them collard greens. They're hard to digest, you know. Mustard greens are better. And remember, the greener the vegetable, the more your liver gonna love it. So I just want to make this quick video, another one of my kitchen preparations. So until next time, Shalom.